वेलकम बैक वीवर्स दिस इज आवर सेकेंड सेशन ऑफ द माइक्रोसॉफ्ट एक्सेस इन द फर्स्ट सेशन वी ऑलरेडी डिवेलप दीज मेन टेबल्स फॉर डेटा बेस ऑफ द टीचर्स एंड दो डेटा सोर्स टेबल फॉर लोकेशन डिस्ट्रिक्ट तहसील यूसीज विलेजेस इन विच वी ऑल्सो पॉपुलेटेड और डिस्ट्रिक्ट प्रोविंस एंड तहसील्स एंड यूसीज एंड विलेज वी विल पॉपुलेट now this was the form that we developed in our first session if you haven't watched the first session so the link is given in the description watch that now uh, as i mentioned in my uh, first session that in this form we have already created this but now the most important thing here is you can develop a form either for data entry or for weaving forms for example this form that we have developed already from our database if i view this in the form view so this is the form view in which i can see all the details of those uh, teachers or any other person that we have updated on main database and you can just click here next 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 and you can go to the next record but if you want this for weaving so it's fine but if you want that this should be for data entry and so here we will change the format of this form to data entry form how we can do that here in this design view this is our form now just double click this here this step Uh, when you click here you see the data tab format tab data tab event other this is for the whole form now here i have uh, an option which is this one data entry you can see this this is the data entry it says no it means that there uh, this is not for data entry this is for viewing form so i am changing it to, to the data entry uh, format now when i click this scroll uh, drop down here you see yes no when i click yes now when you go to the form view you will see that this form will be completely blank now you can see blank form and it's one of the one record all the data that has been entered is not available now and now here you can just start from data entry so uh, this is very important for you that when you create a form based on a table so always double click that and come here if you want that it should be for data entry so you must uh, click the properties these are the property sheets if it's not available here when you double click and it's not available so you can Uh, click form design and property sheet and it will be available here and in the data tab here data entry i have changed that to yes now in our previous session we were discussing uh, clicking each of the cell each of the field and assigning these formats it is an id so it can be in any form for example my uh, input mask for this id is Uh, zero 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 zero. First five digit, then dash, then seven digit, then dash, and then one digit. So whatever form you want to use, you can use that. But use zero zero and dashes are or whatever um, other characters you want. Now when I go to the form view, so here you will see that that format is already visible. So here and uh, now the data entry would start from. this column and this would be a new data entry if i do any data entry here so when i go to the table so that would be available at the end when i enter all the info now for tehsil we already have uh, in our session discussed that how to add a drop down and uh, besides that if you want to show the other fields uh, relevant to that drop down so you can show Uh, them also and these are available here now let's move forward uh, here you see this is the id so i have created for for teacher name uh, this would be a teacher name so a data entry 
and uh, for gender uh, yes in gender column also i need a drop down so i will just right click go to change to and say combo box or you can select list box also i just want a combo box here click and now double click here you see this is the gender column but the row source is either you would have a table that you can uh, select from here if you have a table for gender also but since gender is not that much so i am just adding here so when you are selecting a table so for that you would need to uh, come here and select your table but if you don't have a table and gender is just two, two, three, four categories, so I would change this row source from table queries to here. I don't have a table. I want a value list or a field list. So here I need a value list. And what is that value list? That is male. semicolon female semicolon and other all those forms of gender that you want so you can add them here and i just added male female other and this is a value list you if you are not selecting a table so you must come to the row source type and select value list and now here the bound column is only one that's only that one and now when I click the view form, so you will see here male, female, other. So that is the drop down for either you are creating a drop down from a table. So for that we discussed in the session one and now also I would uh, do that again in the province and district. And if you are just adding a value list, so that would be like this. Now from this gender, if you select male so you can select male female or other but if you want to write something else so that is also accepted why let's go to the design view that is what i told you in session one also that whenever you add a drop down list so you should come here limit to list it's no limit to list is no that's why whatever i want to type there so that is allowed now limit to list should be yes that it should be limited to that list only no any other entry and allow value list edits if you want that the uh, uh, your value list should be edited so for that you just click yes so you can later on edit your value list if you want to add some more options also now if i go there and if i want to try something so it would not accept the text you enter is not an item in the list so you will have to select one among these three now for other if someone select other you can add below another column also but that should be available in your table also so now the next one is dob date of birth for which I have already assigned the date format in the when I was creating the table. So I do not need any formatting for this. If you just go click, so here you see that date picker is already available and someone can select a date from here. If you want to add some advanced calendar type so that you can do and we will, we will discuss that in the advanced sessions. Now the next one is the age. Now in the age column, they would just enter those digits number of years. Uh, you can apply some uh, formulas and macros and expressions uh, to this column that it should pick the number of years from the date of birth that we can do. But if now I uh, try to explain that you would get confused because double click here that you can do with the different formulas also and here in the event formula also that when on got focus when this cell is uh, when someone click in this cell or when 
the date of birth is entered in the data entry person press the tab so whenever the cursor comes to this field it would automatically be updated with with what here you have some options when you click this uh, these three dots so it asks you about three things you want to make a macro expression builder a code builder so you can do this with these codes but these are advanced and we would be doing this in the advanced sessions we would be generating such auto columns with different formula and simply if you want to do this in excel so simple formula would be um, today minus date of birth divided by 365 so that would give you the number of years so that we will do there now the contact number and here you see all these uh, these are the fields so you should not be changing these text but here you can change this text because this is the label so you can uh, write here the id assigned you can write all these details with spaces that would not be an issue here why because this is a label and here you can write name of the teacher you can explain here because this is a label it just like that description dub you can write it in details date of birth so you can we should be designing this uh, side by side this is the contact number now here in contact number uh, i also want uh, this is also a text format but for the input mask you can use your um, uh, input mask uh, format for example here uh, in our country it's 0000-0000000 ten digits and there is a dash after the first four digits so you can apply this format to the contact number and when you click the view form so you will see here that similar format would be visible now for the province i need again a drop down so what is the procedure for drop down double click right click change to combo box changed now in the row source here in the data tab in the row source i need my column my tables of uh, provinces so from here i would select my province table that's it and bound column is one uh, limit to list yes that's required limit to list now here also in the format tab you can um, increase the number of column count so that if you want to see the name of the country against the province so that would also be visible so you can just write two because in that table we have only two columns uh, province and country and in the data tab bound column is one because if you remember or let me open that province uh, table here you see there are two columns the first column is the province so that would be selecting a province from here now in the district in the district i would just again right click go to change combo box and here in the row source when when this is a a, a, a normal uh, data field so you don't see here in the data tab there's row source etc but when you right click change it to combo box then these options are available so here now i need my table of districts so i would just select the district and there also the bound column is number one if your uh, bound column is not uh, at the first uh, column so you can write that number but if you see in our district column also the first column is the district column so i am using that one now here i have selected that now if you want that uh, along with the district i should see the province and country also 
so go to the format and count column just say three columns because in my district table there are three columns so you would see the district the province and the country all in the same place for example let's see here in the province you see all the provinces in the country now if i go to the district so all the district the province and the country and when you select so only the district would be select now i am doing all this but here you see in this form these are assigning field types etc but if you look at this this is the form header this is the detail um, tab here is the footer also if you want that there should be a footer for each form so you can add those footer also and simply just drag it that's it here you can write something uh, project name or any other details which would be visible for example let me add a text box here uh, sorry uh, a label here label data entry form now just let's go to the form view and here you see the data entry form that would now if you need that when someone select the province so the district should be dependent upon that uh, province column and then when someone select the district so the seal should be uh, dependent according to that district and similarly the schools and all these details so now we need a drop down list a data source table for our school also if we are in the start and we don't have the list of our school so then it's okay but if you have already completed all the registration then you can develop um, a list for schools and emis so that if someone just select a, a, a specific tehsil so the the schools of that tehsils would be visible and you can just filter uh, easily the, uh, the the list of school and you can select the required one so now uh, let me show you a trick for example if you have completed all the uh, list uh, the collection of the list of the schools and you have uh, um, the list of school available with you so how you can uh, easily convert that to um, data source list now if you see here we have one location villages a school list so we should have one uh, school data source table also for that copy and paste and let me add it location schools so uh, or you can just use only one you don't if you just develop one for the school so you won't need the one for the villages but here in this school one what i need in the start i need two things insert row insert row here i need school name and emis and then the village name also so if you develop this one so you have the village list also and the school list also now let's uh, if for example you have collected all the data let's go to our excel file in which we collected all this data this was our uh, main uh, complete data sheet that we completed developing and if you think that some more schools are coming so no issue you can add those schools later on to, to that, that data source table now what i need here i need these columns so let me copy from this access i just opened that school list location data source table copy and here in the excel i just pasted it okay now school name emis village uc tehsil district province let me go to my excel sheet now from the excel sheet first i need school name so come to the school column select click control shift down copy 
paste, then the EMIS column, then village is not available there, UC is not available, Tehseel, yes, Tehseel I have, then the district, so this is the district column, then uh, the province, so this is the province column, but if you see there, we have used Khyber Pakhtunkhwa, not KP, so use this Khyber Pakhtunkhwa. And obviously, use your country name here. If you have more than one country, so you can use this column also. This is my school list developed. So you can use this table now there and just copy it and uh, paste it in the. Okay. First, see whether there are any duplicates on the EMIS code or on the school name after that. So if you want to see that whether there are any duplicates, select all, go to data, uh, remove duplicates. This is the option on which column I want, either on school name or EMI. School name might be same for some schools, but EMIS is never the same. This is the code. So you can select this one, unselect all and then select EMIS and OK. So six duplicate values found and removed. There were because there were some teachers from the same school. So now you have a unique values, a unique list of all the schools and just come here and paste it. So you have the list of school also available. Now in that form, why we are doing this? In this form, if someone select a tehseel, so tehseel column is already here. You can see that. So all this would get uh, filtered based on the country, then province, then district, then tehseel. You see if you, you have UC, you so okay, otherwise it would just be uh, filtered on tehseel. And then if you select a village, so if there are two schools in that village, so those. So you should collect this village data in the start along with the school name so that you uh, may not face such issues uh, later on. It's a health project so you should have the list of all health facilities collected and then you can just develop the list for health facilities. Now I have developed this table for me. Now here in this uh, EMIS and school I do not want to enter EMIS. If someone select a name of a school, so the EMIS should be available uh, automatically. So that you can do with this. But if you don't have all the school list and you are doing data entry for schools also, then these two columns should remain the same. Uh, you should not add a drop down here because it would you will have to update it. But here we have all the lists, so we would create the uh, drop down and here just select right uh, click, change to combo box, and here in the data, just select your table that you just develop for location schools. And this is my location schools table, bound column is one. And there, if you want to show the name of the the EMIS also and the district tehsil also, so you can do that here in the count column. You can add. For example, in this location school, if you see the first one is school, then EMIS, then village, then use tehsil, so you can add those uh, columns. For example, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. There are eight columns, and if you want to show all of them so you can do that but uh, for that you should have this form in the way it should look like that the school name should be completely on this row so that it it has a lot of space to show you all the required fields anyhow you already knew about that staff assigned uh, you uh, would have a list of all the staff so for that, you need to create another uh, data source table for your staff also. It would be very important for you. So these were the locations data source table. Now, if you need um, a staff list, so here you can create one. 
and while creating a stop list you must remember for example let me create one that would be very important for you uh, for example go to the create table and here i just go to the design view uh, stop list either we should say list stop okay now i do not need this one in the stop one name if there is name of staff if there is an id you have created already so you should use that id also i uh, uh, add here contact number of that staff that would be later on very easy for you in the queries to link all these columns with those staff contact number and uh, you will see in the queries and uh, when we would be developing uh, the forms and queries and reports it would be very very useful contact number uh, if you want to add his other details uh, district from which district he is are responsible for this that district office and other details as much as detail you can so you should now in the employed contact number contact number is also our text district etc name of stuff so this is my stop list so you would create that for example in this excel sheet we have these type of start staff member let's see and we can just pick uh, our staff members from there very easily copy this table to an excel file here now come to your database if you have already entered those details these are your stop assigned stop one stop two you, there would be names but i have just used stop one stop two copy this this is the name of the stop employee id is not available with you contact number should be added district now here you have the district office that you can do later on now just select this whole table go to data remove duplicate so that you may have on which column on name of staff or employee id okay these these are the the details of the staff that you have so you can ask them about their ids and their contact number just type them here once and then just copy and paste it in the microsoft access and that's it later on you will see that how much useful this is for us in the queries and then relationship uh, with other now here i have the stop assigned list so right click change to combo box double click data source what is the source the source is the list staff bound column is one and that's fine and that name is okay i do not need other columns to be visible or if you want the district column so now let me show you another trick for example in this stop list if you see uh, in this stop list if you want that i want to see the name of stop and the district as well so one two three four you will have to uh, apply here to add here four columns now what if you want that i should see only the name of stop in the district but not these two columns this should not be visible in the drop down for example now if i go there in the form and when i select the stop assigned so it would show me the stop name and these two columns are blanks what are these two columns these two columns are those employee id and contact number what if you want that only this one should be visible and this one should be visible for that i just skip that in the previous session why just i wanted that uh, suitable time should come now here in this format you see column count four now column with what is this for column with now let's let's see there are four columns if i say one zero zero one now let's see what the you you see only the name of the staff in the district and you don't see those employee id and other details for example what i did 
in the column with one as equal to show and zero as equal to do not show. And what I have added the other details, I just did what? One semicolon, the first column should be visible, so one, then semicolon. The next column should not be visible, so zero, then semicolon. The third column should also not be visible, so zero, and then semicolon. And the fourth column should be visible, so one. So when I go there and I click this, so I can see that. Now let me show you in another example. For example, in this Tehseel column, you have four columns. Now let's go to the Tehseel table. Here you see one, two, three, four. Now if you want that, I want that all these four columns should be visible, but Tehseel and then uh, the district column, province and country should be counted but not visible. So one, two should be visible and the third, fourth are counted but should not be visible. You would say that if you don't want them, for example, in the stop list there was a problem because these columns were between these two columns. But now if you don't want to show them this and this, so these are the last two columns. So you just add two in the count column here. In the count column, just say two. But if you just uh, add two, so later on in the visual basic, we would be bounding these columns on the district synthesis. And if you have not counted them, so that would not work. That's why we should add them. Four. Now you say one. First column should be visible, semicolon. Second column should be visible, semicolon. Third not visible, fourth not visible, so zero, zero. Now you will see in the Tehseel column. So you can see only Tehseel and district and the province and country is there but not visible. So this column width is for this purpose. Column heads, if you want to show the column heads also. So just make them yes. Now you will see here, here. The column headings, the seal, district, province, country, those would also be available here. So this is uh, very easier. Now in the school list, if you see, I can see all the schools. Now if I want that in this school list, this is my school location list. I want that the school name should be visible and the district or the seal should be visible or you see. So there are one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight column. Count all of them. No issue. In the school, go to design view. Here in this school, count column should be 8. Okay. Now you can hide all those columns which you do not want. I want the first column. Okay. The second one. Yeah, EMIS. That should also be visible uh, if you want. If you don't want, so the first column and then, then. Second, not visible, third, fourth, fifth, fifth you want, and sixth you want. So, first, fifth, and sixth. Now, let's see. First, zero. In this school, now you see, you can see only school name and that uh, the seal. If you want that the columns headings should also be visible. So just go back and click here. This column heads that is below the column width. Click here. Yes. Now let's go to view. See, this is a school name. This is stop assigned. You can just select your stop assigned date of registration. That is already a date quarter that. Uh, you can generate from this date column automatically that we will be doing in the expression builder in macros status of the teacher whether he is active or resigned or, or transferred etc and reason of the, their transfer etc so this is the main db for the teacher that we have developed now before going to that advanced level let's first give a shape to our form for example adding buttons next previous new form, edit form, etc. So uh, here we have all this space available. Now you see here, 
when this is like this plus sign so you can just drag it to make some space available for you select all this information with your mouse you can drag them below or to the left side or to the right side and here now you can add buttons etc so now here you see in the form design when you are in the design view so this is the form design tab here you have uh, all these selection options uh, text box if you want to add another text box text box is like this in which you write formulas or you link with some fields while labels are if you just want to type something like we have written above data entry form so for that you use labels okay this is button now when you click this drag it here now this is the navigation and the uh, command button wizard okay now what what type of button you want record navigation i want a button for find next and find record go to first record go to last record go to next record go to previous record so i just want a, a button for uh, for example uh, go to next record so select it click next here uh, do you want a picture or a text so i just want a text next record and that is fine for me if you want to add a picture from your computer for the next button or for the arrow right etc so you can do that i just want if you select this arrow right so it would show like this if you select this one so it would show next record next and a meaningful name will help you to refer to the button later this is the name of this button so don't finish it with this name okay you won't remember it so here you should just uh, type next button because later on you might be using this text in your codes so always uh, give a meaningful name next button this is my next button okay finish this is the next one now i want another one and that is for go to previous next and that should also show previous record next and this is my you can change these name later on also no issue these the names of this button just double click and here you see this is the next button double click and here you see this is the previous button so you can change these names with double click on this uh, data tab uh, sorry not in the data here in this other option name previous button so you can change this to any other option if you click there so this is the next button so you can change this name here from here not from this format this is the caption caption is something else caption is that what is shown there while this is the name of the button okay so this these these two are the next and previous now a uh, new record data entry record for example if i have entered so uh, how to uh, submit that or how to i just need another button so this is the navigation record buttons okay so i don't record operation now you come to record operations add new record delete record duplicate record print record save record undo record all these buttons are available so record operation add a new record i need add new record next here add record is already there if you want to change this text so you can change it next now here this command 133 should not be the name of this this is add record button add record button finish use names which are uh, which you uh, remember because later on you uh, would be referring to these names finish add record now i want for example uh, another one let's see in the record 
the first one is the record navigation that is okay now i need record operation delete record we might need for example if there is a record and i want to delete or a duplicate print save save record also so you can add all these buttons from here and later on we will see if we need these buttons so we would add otherwise no issue now let's see in the form operation in the form operation you have apply form filter close form open form print form print current form refresh form data so all these buttons are available in the form operation i want this close form button okay close form next this is my close form button that is already available uh, with those you know when you just click here the cross so that is close here but it's also okay if you you know you see it's closed now you would need to open it so from this you can close now this is add record this is next record there is no next record in previous record because we are in the data entry and we haven't entered anything yet so these are those buttons you can place them in right places now let's go to our table first let's see the last record here you see this is the blank record that we just added so let me remove this one now for the time being. close it close all these tables now and come to this form now for example i am entering a teacher's data so that's it this is the name of the teacher now the gender uh, here i just select a data birth then the age. now you see when i was here when i press tab so it goes to province not to the contact number why because it, it it is called tab order you should see your tab order where you can see that go to the design view here you see in the form design tab order so from here you can uh, adjust the first one is the id then there is gender not this one why so you can change it like this select it and drag it up then there is gender it's okay dub okay then age okay then you see province is coming other uh, although here should be the contact number first so you can just select and drag it up. then province after province we should have the district so you can change it the seal then school so just okay now you will see the tab order i selected this then this then this then this then contact number what is the contact number of that person now select the province from here uh, for example this one and here you select the district from this you select the tehsil and here you can um, come to the schools and emis will come automatically if you have already registered all these schools if not so then here you need to write the emis of that school and then the stop assigned then the date of registration then quarter status and then reason and then add record when you press add record it's added now let's see in the main db here when we come so we will have to find we added that with punjab i just did it with punjab just to see uh, come to your form and add here a new field which is for the date of data entry that would be uh, important so for that let's go back to our table here in the last we should add an entry date cell now when you for example if you add a field later on when you have already developed a form in the database so how you are going to add that so add in your database first then go to the form design view and here you want to add that new 
uh, field. So just copy and paste it, the previous one. And here, just give a label name date of entry. And here, double click, come to the data tab. And here, in the control source, if you have added that field in your database, so that would be available here. You see, entry date. So you can add such uh, extra fields up later on you create. So you can uh, add them from this data field. Now, when someone would be doing entry, so he would have to enter his record here also. And uh, from that, you would be able to know which of the record have been entered on that specific date. Now, after adding all these buttons, uh, what we need adding buttons page setup yeah this form setup you see here this page uh, for example when you click view so it is open like that if you want it to be popped up for example like this double click this form view here so when you double click this come to this other tab and here you see pop up it says no if you want it to be popped up, so just click yes. Now see what is this pop up, okay? Now for example, when you click this, so it would be available, this form would be like this, it would not be stated with this, uh, with the tab of Microsoft Access, rather it would be available to you like this. In Microsoft Access, uh, the benefit here is that if here I type a text, so it's not allowed. When I start typing digits, so it's allowed. And when the limit finish, so even if then I press any button, so it would not record anything after the character size is already exhaust. Now, when this form is like this in the uh, pop-up designs, so how you would go back to the design view? It's not working now. You see that you come here and right click and just click design view. So now we have to uh, go to queries also because for this dependent drop down, first you should know what query is because so far we just did tables and form and form also the, the basic form, the data entry form. There are other forms also. So, so now we are entering in a very interesting, you will enjoy this now. So uh, now we will start with queries. Now we need to understand uh, queries because there are some codes which you would need in the dependent drop down also. So first let's start with the basic query, what that query is and how we can uh, generate queries and such forms to link them with specific cells. First of all, let's close this. Now, go back to the create tab and here you see queries. Now, what is query? Query is just, just a question. It means a question, asking your data, questioning your data. You are asking now, you are starting to ask some question. So the basic example first let me give you. For example, this was the database that I showed you in the session one. So this, this is also a farm, okay? And uh, here you see these drop down lists. When you select the, a specific district, you just click um, go and there are all the details available to you. So all this is done through queries and a form. So uh, now we will create a simple form like this for our teacher database that we developed and we will use queries to obtain that information from our uh, database. And in that you will see how we can create those dependent drop down also. And one uh, question someone asked me that in Excel when there is a drop down, so in Excel you have to go to those advanced options for searchable drop down. But here you see these drop down are already searchable in Microsoft Access. For example, if I want to uh, filter a district and I don't want to click this if the list is so long, so I just type the first 
two three words and here you see that name is already filtered here so now let's go to our database so and i hope you understand that what is query now query is just just asking question for example the simple query let me explain to you the in the simple way first this is our main db teacher okay there are lots of information we have id column teacher name gender date of birth age contact number province district everything is there okay now if in microsoft access for example if you just want the list of female teacher only or if you just want the a specific age group only or if you just want um, a specific district or a specific tehsil so all this we do in queries let me explain to you first we are going to create a query on this main db teacher you can develop your own queries with blank information also but i just selected this database and here there are two options query wizard and query design so i am going to the design not to the wizard the wizard will take you uh, through all the steps that i want to show you so that you may learn them first first you learn and then we will use this wizard also because in this wizard there are some advanced options which you can do easily from this wizard so now first we go to the query design here i am in the query design now on this side i can see all my table but i can see my tables here also on which table you want to do the analysis to ask your data on this main db teacher just drag it here i just click drag it here now you will see here just look at the interface here first here you see this is your database these are all those columns in your database which are available for example let me show you in detail okay this these are all those columns of the database now for example if you just want some information from it not all the columns so you can just click that column for example if i just need teacher name and gender and age and district i just need these four columns so now i added them now when i click this view here you see in the query results so you have data sheet view SQ, sql view and design view this is in the design view now sql view we will be discussing this later in the advanced mode data sheet view is simple give me the report of this information that i added so run here you see the excel sheet type of excel sheet and there you have just teacher name gender age and district only this is your complete list of those teacher now if you want to go back to the design view go back if you want to add another column that you can do for example if you want that school should also be here and emis also and whatever sequence you want you can add that sequence you can just drag, drag it to this side you can drag it to um the left side the right side wherever you want this information district column you want at the end so drag it to the end or just delete it and add it again from district no issue so now you will see when i uh, press run so here you see all those columns which i have asked now here this is the field name this is the table from which it you can use many tables here to consolidate data of different tables in this query design you can uh, but there should be a similar column with you for for uh, developing those links and relationships that we will discuss now here you see sort on which column you want a sort for example if you want to create this new list and you want that the sorting should be on the emis so you can do that here ascending descending on the district so you can do that here on the teacher name so you can do that ascending and now when you run it you will see uh, the name of the teacher and that specific sequence why we have so much uh, blank rows because we have done some uh, entries in this database which were not required we were just practicing so all that has been added here that's why you see those blank rows so that you can 
remove or correct in your main database here. Now you see all the names are in the sequence. Now this place is for sorting. Show if you have added some columns and later on you want that this column should be there in the queries, but it should not be shown. So you can just uncheck that. For example, if you want this H column for some formulas, but you do not want it to be shown in the table also. So you can just remove that criteria. Now here, for example, teacher name. If, if, if I type here, Ahmed, for example, I typed here Ahmed, run. So here you see blank sheet. Why there is no such name like Ahmed in this data? So this is that filtering option with you. This is the basic thing. Now Ahmed is not there. Why? Because maybe there is not a single name Ahmed. But if you add here after the Ahmed asterisk and in the start also, so whichever name has Ahmed and it has added now like, this like is a command that I am going to explain. Now when I added asterisk after and before it added like and when I run, so now you see all those names are filtered where Ahmad is mentioned. So here in these queries and in these analysis, you can you we would, would be doing all these things. Now let me explain to you why I was coming here before that dependent dropdown. Why? Because here the, now let me go to that form. If you want that this district to be filtered based on a province, so you can add those like commands here. When you add them, so this form will be working according to that uh, queries. Now we will be adding those things, but let me first do some more things. For example, here you want that I just want mail only. Mail view. Here, here is the list of mail only now. So you can save these queries. For example, uh, uh, you need a list of mail only for some purpose which you uh, are asked again and again. So you can save this query. How? You have developed already. This is query one. So just click right, save. Here you give it a name, mail teachers. So you have another table here under the queries, a mail teacher list. So whenever someone update the main database from the form or from the this mail teacher query will also be updated automatically so you generate these queries not only for this purpose there are analytical aspects a lot of analytical things you can do now if you want that i just want a list of uh, people with a specific age for example only 30 years old so just say 30 run these are all those who are 30 years old back if you say no greater than 30 so add this sign of greater than and now run so here you will see all those people whose age is greater than 30 only the list of those people so these are those things that we will be doing now in these queries and in these queries design now uh, if you are thinking that I would be just adding these criteria and saving these files like we saved this mail teacher. So how many files are you don't need that? I just mean that you can save a separate file for that. But now if you want that I need a form, for example, I need uh, a query and uh, I would add some criteria in a separate form and whenever I click those criteria so this uh, query will automatically uh, develop a special sheet for me or a special form or a special report for me. So what I am going to do now is this is the simple way how to create a query. But this, this was very basic. Now, for example, I have this complete database. So I now I am removing all these tapes. Let me create a complete query. You cannot do such analysis on a table directly. So you will have to create a query for that. So this complete table of main DB teacher is here. And I am to develop a complete a query for the complete database. So I will select all the columns from top to bottom, all of them. 
just drag them here. Now all the columns of the main DB teacher, if you run, it is the same as the data table of the teachers. But that is table, there you can do entries and here you can't do entries. But if you do any entry in the main DB, so those will be reflected here. Now in this main query, I will give it a name. Let me save as it. I will give a name Q, just Q, query. And what is this query of? Q main DB teachers, main DB teachers. So now here in this query, go to the design view and now we will be adding some commands just to prepare you for all those advanced dependent drop down or any other analytical or forms that you want to create. Now for this query, I am going to develop a form. This form was only per data entry. I need a form, go to create, uh, take a blank form now. Why? Because I'm not creating a form based on a table or on a query. I am creating my own form, just a dashboard where I would be adding some filters, etc. And whenever I click a specific criteria, so I will have that specific information, that analysis or that sheet available. Blank form. Now this is a complete blank form. I am going to add now here some uh, fields since it is blank so you will have to develop your own uh, buttons and your own text box and your own labels and your own uh, text boxes so first save it control s give it a proper name first this is uh, but a short name because you will be using that name in the coding zone. so this is form one for example let me keep it to form one and always remember the name okay so this is my uh, blank form. I am in the design view now. Go to form design. This is the form design. Now I need a, a label and a text box. Okay. So let me create a text box. For example, uh, it has already added a label. Okay. For example, in this in this main DB. Uh, the queries uh, I want that if someone type a specific ID or a name or a gender or whatever column you want so only that those people are that criteria should be automatically applied to a query and when I press a button so it should give me that information for example in this query if you need only uh, a specific ID for example, if you type here an ID of a specific person and when you click view, so it gives you all the details of that person. Now it's blank because my ID is wrong. So for this, the simple way, why I would be coming here and then going to the design view and typing in, the, in this form, I am just adding here a label search by ID. And this is my text box double click give these text box a proper name and a short name so that you may remember the form also and this text box also now here you see in the other its name is text zero i would say id search or just id i named it just id okay id and this is here in this other now another one click control click and then copy and paste search by name i want a search by name here come here again and text to it should be name now now let me show you why i did this the form name is form one and the id name is id and this is name now in this query here i will add a code what is that code that code is remember this code now see what is this code you say like forms and then this form is uh, inside the square brackets then we have this uh, sign then now these two will be changing these two 
would be changing while this code and this code is always the same. Now form name and text box name. Now here I told you what was the name of the form. Here we added a form. What is the name of that form? Form 1. And what is the text box that I want for a search for that? That is ID and this is uh, name. This is ID. Double click here see ID. And double click this is name. Now form name and text box name. So let's create one for ID. So for ID my form name is form 1. So I will write here form 1 and in the text box what was my text box name id if i am creating it for id okay now just copy this okay and go to the query and here in the criteria under id assign paste it now what does this mean it means that like forms according to the forms that i have created which name is form 1 and the text box is id so filter this information of this database according to this form 1 id whichever someone has typed here in this form 1 in this id cell so you should filter only that information and if now you are creating for the name for here so for that just copy this formula and instead of id now just add name what was the text box name this text box name is name so i just did that copy it and now go to the query and paste it now let me show you how will it work now go to the form form view now here if I type a specific ID and then when I go and run this query, so according to this form, this query would automatically be filtered. And if I haven't entered anything, so no issue, this query will show me all record. That is meant by this and this. Either you do a search according to this criteria and if there is nothing then show all of the record. This means show all of the record. So now let's go to the form and type here an ID 10001. For example I typed an ID. Now we will add here a button and link to that query. So that would be much more easy but now let's do it like this. You see nothing is available. Why? maybe this id is wrong but if i remove this id and go back to my query so now it's showing me everything now uh, let's write a name because we don't remember any id so that we may write that here for example here i am typing a name ahmad okay now go to that query now you see ahmad 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 and here I have typed only Ahmad. You don't need the exact name. Why? Because in that formula you have seen it's it has added already the asterisk. So that's the benefit here. You just type, for example, if I say a sim. Okay. A sim. Now go to this query. Run. Here you see a sim Junaid. That's only one name. And Junaid. I haven't typed Junaid, but it just search any uh, resemblance and that is here. And that ID we don't. So you can do these, this for all these columns here. I, it was just an example. Now let's see the, the advanced mode uh, here. For example, I am adding a button now. Okay. So uh, let me add this button here. Okay. Now it asks me record. Uh, navigation no I don't not record operation no I don't want form operation no uh, what I want here I want in this miscellaneous you see run query I need a command for this button run query command run query command 
so when someone type anything here and click this button so that query will automatically give you that information if you have created a special report so then you go to open a report option if you have created a form so then go to an open form option but that we will be doing in the advance but now here i am just showing you a simple example run query next and then here say ah uh, there are two queries in your database which query i should run this one q main db teachers q main db teacher next now it says should i use the button name as run query or something else i, I give it a name go i give it a name go next finish now here you see i have a go button for this also and for this also i need the same go button so i can just copy and paste it or i can develop another one also or just this one button is fine if i if it is for the same query it is the same query yeah now let's do not open and close this query we do not need that now close it now go to the form view here asim click go so you see this is the query of asim close it now for example i need all remove everything and click go so it shows you all the query now if you type uh, akhtar go you see there are four names with akhtar so you can just do these things with these forms and now you just learned that how you can connect a query with a specific form tabs now here we would be designing a beautiful dashboard which would give you a beautiful information of all this teacher now i have developed simple query if i want a report type on this uh, query so i can generate that report template from here from this query when i click this but we would be doing some designing in that so uh, that we would discuss in the advance so now i have a form where i can do all these things so now i hope you got my point that you have to develop a query where if you just need some calculation so types and that would give you but if you want a specific form a dynamic um, data sheet that is based on all these filter for example if you uh, want to add some other uh, options also for example the age so for age also you can use here for example for age i want a specific groups for example i want specific groups of people so here i can uh, use that uh, similar type uh, copy and paste and i will bring that here and i will just say search by age okay and now in this text box whichever age i type so now first give it a proper name double click come here it says text six no this is age a g e now if you want to bound that query with this with this form one this text box so go there copy this code go to the age column here and when you paste it so just change that name column with age and this age means the the text box that i have made there it is the name of that text box in the form so now let's see here when i type 30 and click go so it shows me only those people whose age is 30 now what if you want that i want to add here a criteria greater than or lesser than 30 because for that you need some more advanced options so this was basically the first step in the query in this um, session two we uh, discussed that now uh, since i do not want these videos to be lengthy enough uh, so that's why we would uh, end this session with this and uh, we will continue from this place in session three so i will prepare that session first and then in a day or two i will upload that watch this video and the first session also share with your friends with your family members with colleagues like comment subscribe this channel and 
comment also uh, give me your questions because when you would be asking questions that can give a lot of uh, benefit because questions are very important so type your question in the comments share them and we would be going now in uh, a much more advanced level with these queries when we complete these queries then reports and then forms so then we, we, we will come again with the designing this specific dashboard even you can develop a complete dashboard a complete interface for you in this microsoft access and which your format for example if you have this in this excel format so you can just uh, easily do your filtration here and just click go and you have all that data available and just copy from here click ctrl c and go to excel and paste there would not be any issue so we would be now grouping that because this query is not this simple here you can now add a grouping option a totals option where it would be uh, you know combining different columns and different information according to a different criteria so in this query we would be going with all these advanced options in the next session to understand dears on uh, my channel uh, if you visit my channel so you will see the sessions on microsoft excel powerpoint windows uh, online kobo forms uh, microsoft forms google forms and many other sessions so go there watch uh, all these tutorials comment like and share with your friends and family members and uh, this session will continue i am working on the next session and will upload soon